In this Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial, we will learn how to change an image size and its resolution. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. Hello everyone and welcome back to Photoshop Basics. In this third tutorial, we are covering the image size and resolution. So what is a resolution? The image size panel. What are pixels? The image size. Keeping the proportions. Changing the resolution. And resampling an image. Let's start with number one. What is an image resolution? So, open an image in Photoshop, which we have covered how to do this in the previous tutorials. And if you zoom in to the image, you can see that the image is made by lots of tiny squares. And these little squares are called pixels. So each image is made of small square pixels, as you can see. Pixels are the unit that control that determine how detailed an image is. So a larger number of pixels corresponds to a better quality image. So I'm going to zoom back out so uh, we won't be able to see the pixels anymore, but we will be able to see our image. Let's move on to number two, the image size panel. To open the panel, go to the top drop down menu, image, and select image size. And the image size panel will open. So first of all, on the left side of the panel, we have a preview window. So it's an innovative thing of Photoshop CC and we can see a live preview of what the image will look like based on the settings we choose. You can uh, move the image preview by clicking and dragging the image around. And on the right side of the panel, we can find all the controls and options for resizing our images, as well as some general information about the image. So let's start with the uh, pixel dimensions. This area indicates the number of pixels from which the image is composed. Then we have the width and the height, which are the document size values. So by default they are in inches, but this can be changed by clicking on the drop down menu. And also they can be modified, but if you decide to modify them, uh, make sure that you link them together by clicking on the little icon. That way Photoshop will proportionally change the image size. Let's move on to this little icon on the right side of the panel. This option should always be activated because it maintains the correct proportions of the image. And finally, we have the resample section. And through this option, we can alter the resolution of the image. Let's move on to the image size, which is the physical dimension of the image. Let's go back to the image size section. As I said, inches are the preset, but if you click on the drop down menu, you can change it to like centimeters or pixels. I'm going to choose pixels, but as you saw, there's different units, so go through them and choose the one you want. Remember to keep the image's proportion. Uh, so as we said, remember to click on this little icon so you link the two values together, uh, the height and the width. So if you change one, the other one changes with it. If you don't link them, uh, you risk to deform the image by modifying only one value. And then the other value won't change proportionally with it, so it stays like it was. Number five, changing the image resolution. 
So it's very important to keep a balance between the image dimension and the image resolution. Photoshop measures the density of pixels in PPI, which stands for pixel per inch. And as we said in the beginning of the video, the more pixels an image has, the higher the quality of the image. So if an image has a low PPI, for example, 72, it means the image is um, intended for a use on a monitor, like for example for a blog, uh, in an email, or something to do with our computer. So obviously if we need a higher quality image, we would hire the PPI. So if you're working like on a uh, project that needs to be printed, you would use 300 PPI, for example. So with that being said, it's better to keep a balance between the dimension and the resolution. Because if I'm working on a printing project which has a big dimension, a big image size, and then I have a low resolution, like for example 72 PPI, well that will ruin the quality of the image. So I would use 300 PPI for a printing project. Step 6. Resample an image. So as we said, the image dimension and its resolution should have a balance. But suppose we want to modify the image size without touching the resolution, leaving the same resolution. In this case, we would have to resample the image. So for example, if I want to reduce uh, an image without changing the quality, uh, I would use resample image. So let's check out the resampling options. So let's go down to the resample section and click on the drop down menu. Here we can see all the resampling options. So for example, to reduce an image, pick by cubic sharper. And it will keep the high quality of the image when you reduce it. Now that we've selected the resampling option, if we go to change the image size, like either the width or the height, since we have linked the two dimensions together, if you change one, the, the other one will automatically change with it. So uh, let's reduce the image size. So according to our resampling option, the, we are doing a reduction of the image size. So obviously the value will be smaller. So even though we didn't specifically go through all the options, there's the enlargement option, the reduction one that we used in the example, the automatic. So choose the option according to your situation. As our final step, we have apply the changes. So when you're done going through all the options, press OK to close the uh, panel and your image will be resized. Thank you for following this tutorial. I hope you found it very useful and stay tuned because in the next tutorial we will be learning how to export an image for the web and how to properly save an image for printing.